Welcome back to the Burst Mode studio from the photography show. Joining me here is Peter from Colour Confidence. You've brought some of your flashy gear with you again, Peter. What have you got? Absolutely. We've got some uh, new product with us. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the Rogue Flash Bender version 3. So it's an update on the previous versions. The great thing about all of this kit is that it allows us to shape and modify light. So if we want to just bounce flash because we don't know the colour of the ceiling, we can just push and this yep. will actually shape into whatever we want. We can also roll the whole thing up attach it and it will create a snoot so we can light modify. So this is the large flash bender. We've got three variants of it. So we've got the small flash bender here, which is just a smaller price. And on the table here, we've got the extra large flash bender. This one comes with the light modifier as well. And it's got a semi-silver back. This is much more for a studio light sort of thing. Before we dive into that one, what I want to take a look at here is the attachment mechanism, because particularly when you're attaching these to your speed lights or whatever, you need it to be secure and you need it to be quite speedy to get on and off. So this is one of the things why the um, update on the flash bender has been so key. It's been always identified as quite fiddly to do bits of Velcro. Yeah. So the idea on this new one is that we have a new grip strip so if I show you on this one here, we have a rubberized grip strip to actually yep. attach directly to the flash. And once we've got it adjusted and fully functional and in the place we need it to be, we just pop this catch and take it off. That's correct. So to reattach it onto there, it's literally, it's almost a one-handed job, apart from when you're trying to do it live, when it will never be. But um, it's literally just clipped together and now that's on there quite securely and not going to fall off. And in terms, in terms of, you know, we're talking about being able to shape the light here, that's pretty sturdy, you know, you make a shape out of this and it's and it's going to stay. It's, so if you, if, you wanted to, if you were photographing and you wanted to avoid someone catching the light, you can just bend that around there and that will actually just shield the light. Okay. But obviously, what, one of the things that you might want to do is to soften the light mm -hmm. because obviously when we're shaping the light, we're still going to get the harsh shadows. And both the large and the small flash benders come with a diffusion panel. And attachment is particularly difficult. So everything is Velcro attached as previously. So it there literally just attaches very quickly onto the top. And then on the top here, we just fold this across uh -huh. and pop her down. So we create an internal burst. So as the flash fires upwards, and that's normally tucked under there, it hits the top, there's a diffusion seat at the front right. and diffuses the light right over. Um, when you want to take it off, literally just tear away. Super, super. And the other thing about this is once you've detached it, the whole thing folds in half and goes in the top of your camera bag. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the box here though. So this is, this is the extra large box. So this is not designed realistically for on-camera flash. Mm. This is much more for off-camera flash. So what we have here is we have the attachment with the egg crate on it and the diffusion. Yep. And again, this is all Velcro attached. It's all light tapered in exactly the same way oh, wow. as previously. Um, and one of the differences on the flash bender version three is that we've got a semi-silvered uh, background. Yep. On the previous version, it was white. So it tends to be a little bit harsher. This speckles, this gives you more specular highlights, but still can be bent and flashed in the normal way. Product photography, kind of in-studio stuff. Yeah, small studio stuff, small portraiture work. Yeah. Um, really, any, anything in reportage when you're on the road. Um, I actually use the large flash vendor. I do, I do actually use the previous version. I do a little bit of motorsport photography and whenever mm -hmm. I'm doing stuff in the pit lane, that's on the camera, just to do that quick candid shot with flash. And in terms of the variety of flash heads that you're going to be able to attach these to? So this go, these, these new attachments, one of the benefits is that they fit anything up to a 17 inch throated flash. Wow. So that will do anything up to a small studio flash, yeah. uh, portable flash, uh, pro photos. And that's one of the key features behind it is it has that flexibility to attach to multiple flashes, right way down to a small compact flash for a DSLR or even a, a CSC camera. Really good stuff. These are terrific. Thank you so much indeed for bringing them in, Peter. Really no appreciate it. If people want to find out more about your Flash Bender 3s, where do they go? Uh, to colorconfidence.com or get on there, look, at the, get, look online and give us a call. Terrific. Thanks again. Thank you very much.